Hi, my name is Marty Brown, and I'm one of the original founders of the Village Gallery in Orange County, California. We've been in business for 40 years. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the artwork of Fabio Napoleani. He's a remarkable artist that creates beautiful little characters that really connect with the collectors. He uses a lot of color, and he has a lot of different kinds of surfaces he paints on and does limited editions for metal, paper, and canvas. He has a great following of collectors that follow him all over the country for appearances, searching for that one piece that might be hard to find. He comes to our galleries once a year for a great show where he meets all the collectors, signs their pieces that they've purchased, and talks with them about his artwork. He has an amazing collection and his popularity has grown substantially in the last 10 years. This show typically, th these guys typically kick off my year. I measure how this, like the rest of my year is gonna go basically by coming here. It sort of sets the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. And these guys have always, they've always had the same show on, on basically the weekend before Valentine's Day. And as many times as I've tried to s separate them, because it's brutal to do come and do two different gallery shows on the same weekend, yeah. they, don't, they don't care. I love coming here because, I, again, it's, it's, it's a good judge. And I, I, all these guys are fantastic. I think the name is fitting, being Village Gallery, because these guys are all like a small family. And it's, it's a different atmosphere than it is at Todd's. Todd's, is, he's got two older gentlemen that work, and they hustle, and they're fun, and... But then you come here and it's completely different. And just like this staff is completely different than the staff anywhere else, mm -hmm. I think that's a success to my artwork. Not every gallery has to be the same. And I think I think that's the success to where the artwork is. And every individual here understands the artwork and they tell the story of the artwork. I've been in other galleries where they don't care. Mm -hmm. And I think that just does not, does not happen here. One of the fears I've had from the beginning is, you, you know, at some point it's going to fade or it's going to, you know, some, you're going to lose your luster or whatever it is. So for me, I always challenge myself in trying to come up with different things. And I've come here with pieces of art that are different than I've done in the past. I mean, I think last year I did something on paper and then Marty complimented me on it, asked me about it. So I knew then he's been an artist for a long time. So that compliment carries a long way with me when I go to work on other things down the road. Here it's different. It's really cool. I enjoy just sitting out there and people don't care who's around. They will tell you a story. And when I started all of this, that was not, that was something that came and shocked me. I'm not a very open person, but I think being doing this for 10 years has been able for me to express myself and then people express themselves back to me. And I think, you know, when they're open right there in front of me and just telling me a story and they've obviously shared it with the people that are coming up because everybody I, I could turn around and see everybody already knows you just develop friendships and I think that's where the fan page comes in and there's conversations in the on that page that occur from meetings here because this is the first the, technically the first show of the year yeah. so it starts the ball rolling people will talk and talk and talk I'm barely ever on there <laughs> but when you go on there and you look at the threads they just go and go and I don't even have to be a part of it anymore it's the it's one of the I think one of the <laughs> coolest things really you know ever but I, I but then again it that all that plays into when you walk into a gallery like here and he's cracking jokes and pam's just being pam and gina's being you know and you guys are just will's being well you guys are just being yourselves that it brings a comfort to the client that later they go on to instagram or facebook and they tell you their interaction with the gallery and that's why these shows are go as long as they do because the gallery interacts with the people. You guys know the story. You tell the story. You have funny stories to tell. And that's why I have five galleries that knock it out of the park. And these guys are always one, two, or three. And that's why. Because they, you guys care to tell the story. It's, it's really that simple. You, you have to have compassionate individuals. And this gallery is filled with them.